from head to foot, from skin to the organs, many parts of our bodies are named the characters with this radical. On the other hand, we have a radical of sickness to describe the health problems. This video will take you a ride through the most important ones with words and phrases that you can use in daily life. Ladies and gentlemen, the body radical is written the same as Yu, which means the moon or month. Does make sense, right? Because it actually came from this one, the character Ro, which means meat or flesh. Makes sense now, right? It's just somehow, somewhere, some people think it's too complicated to write and simplify it into the same writing as Yu. And as of today, most of the characters with the Yu right, are related with the meat rather than the moon representing time. Ro, maybe you can think about a real piece of meat. Think about the testers. That was the image of how the character was created in the first place. And like most compound characters, you will see this radical in these two positions. And as to the sickness radical, it's not a character at all. Not like the other radicals I've introduced so far. It's just always in the making of characters and words that is related to sickness. And by the way, sickness we call Bing. Sheng Bing. Get you. Sheng Bing. Kan Bing. Check illness. Kan Bing. And in the Chinese language, the sickness itself is very much related to cultural or history. Let's just take an example of two adjectives in opposite meanings. Fei Pong. Fat. Fei Pong. Versus Shou. Thin. Shou. You see, both Fei and Pong. Even though they have slight different meanings, I'll get there in a few seconds. They're just considered as a bit more meat than necessary, while shou was for a long history of time considered bad nutrition and even worse, and there's be something going wrong with your body that makes people suspect of illness. Bing. And between fei and pang, fei is more about the characteristics of a piece of meat. That's oily, fatty. That's why when we go to a butcher, you could choose from Fei rou, very fatty meat, or shou rou, a piece of meat as less fat as possible. And pang is more related to the body shape. When I was a child, every family had this kind of picture hanging on their wall. Pang wa wa, cute fat babies. Because that's how exactly the parents wish their kids to be. It was a symbol of health and enough food, long enough for this example. Now let's check the bodies. Where shall we begin? From outside. The skin, wu, wu, wu si. skin color, it's simply a word of meaning plus. Wu si. Xiang tong fu si. Same skin color. Xiang tong fu si. Bu tong fu si. Different skin color. Bu tong fu si. Fu is usually combined with pi. Also means skin, but it could describe a lot of other things, like the skin of the fruit. Guo pi, pi fu. And under the skin, there's muscle. Well, I don't have a big one here, but I can feel it somehow. Ji rou, muscle. Ji rou. And going a bit deeper down, then you reach the bone. Gu, bone. Gu. And we usually say together with to. Gu to, gu to. The first routine is done from skin to bone. Now let's check the parts of body. Nao, the brain. Nao. There are of course many medical terms about nao, but that's not our focus today. Just the terms in daily life, right? We usually put brain and head together and make to nao. And with this word, we describe people. Yo to nao have brains, smart, intelligent. Yo to nao or to nao jian dan simple headed not think through not think enough or even lack of thinking to nao jian dan the face lian lian and down here this part bo zi neck bo zi and when a person is super angry and then you see the change of his face, we say Lian Hong Bo Zi Tsu Face red, neck thick. Lian Hong Bo Zi Tsu. Imagine a furious person with this part 
blow up like a red balloon. It's like, calm down. Let's go further with 肩, shoulder. 肩, and the phrase 肩并肩, shoulder and shoulder, is to describe two persons are going through some challenges, some difficult moments together, that they're the size of their holding hands, and they work as one team. 肩并肩, and the back, we say 背, the back. 背, and if we just change the tone into Bei, then it's a verb to carry something on your back. Bei, and the arms we call them. Gebo. Gebo. It's more an oral expression, and we use B for written forms. B, which is also with this meat radical, just at the bottom. And for this part, we call Xiong. Xiong. And because inside there we have the most part of our body, xin, the heart, xin. Therefore, we have a lot of phrases with these two characters together. For example, xin xiong kuan guang, kuan and guang literally means wide and broad. But this phrase is about personality of letting go of everything, always being forgivable, never hold a grudge. It's very, very positive. Xin xiong. And both sides of the heart we have fei, lung, fei, which is responsible for aspiration, for breathing, Ku xi, to breathe, Ku xi, xi, to take in, exactly sounds like and who let it out. So practice when you breathe. Ku, I'm not doing a yoga class here, um, so let's go on with our bodies. Going a bit down there, we have stomach, way. And because way is a place where food and drink go down, it's related to eating and digesting. Way cold, appetite. Way cold. Way cold, how. That means somebody can eat quite a lot or is happy with the eating. Way cold, cha, the opposite. Wei ko cha and after wei comes chang this long pipe going for meters chang and ko sausage chang as well you just have to specify them by putting other words in front it tastes so well so in general we call them xiang chang sausages xiang chang and the part where wei and chang stays inside we in general call it du Belly. Duzi. Some people complain about Duzi teng. Belly hurts. Duzi teng. Most probably that person hadn't figured out whether it's Wei or Chang that caused the problem. And here again, the sickness radical on Teng, even though it's not necessarily leading to a real sickness, sometimes we just say a problem is really causing a headache. Tou teng de wen qi. A bothering question. A question that makes you feel headache. 头疼的问题度 and 长 together can form a lot of phrases. 小肚鸡肠 here 小, small, and 鸡, chicken is supposed to describe that these two parts are tiny, small. 小肚鸡肠 is very much the opposite as 心胸宽广 so instead of letting go everything, it's more about a person that always remembers such kind of things. Yesterday he owed me two dollars. The neighbor said something bad about my dog. They always bear in mind and never let it go. And somewhere around here inside, gan, liver. Gan, and next to it, the neighbor, gallbladder. Dan, 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 da, to mean brave, full of courage, and dan xiao. To mean coward, too afraid of doing something. Dan, dan, dan xiao. No idea why they chose this organ. So the rest of the body, I would just use the models. Otherwise, you can't see me speaking. Pi gu, s. Pi gu. There's one way to say a person is on a lot of debt. Qian yi pi gu. Qian, on a lot of money to somebody else. Qian yi pi gu. 
not good. Tui leg. Tui da tui upper part. Da tui xiao tui lower part. Xiao tui and the knee between. Si si and finally the foot. Xiao xiao. You might wonder what's the difference between zu, which we say a lot in zu qiu, football. And besides, zu could also be a radical, related to actions like running, jumping. Zu is more official for written forms, and jiao is more colloquial, more oral. That's why when we say a person has bad smile from the foot, jiao chou, and not say zu chou. Clear? There's a phrase about ge bo and Da tui, ge bo, ao bu guo, da tui. Basically saying the arm is nothing compared to the leg regarding their sizes and the strength. A weak person, team, or a company cannot win over a stronger one. And ao is an action like this when you see two people doing the bending over arm game that one try to win over the other by doing this. Ao, zhong, to swell or swelling. 肿 and 症 symptom 症 and to the end of your senior words for the learning freaks and then something special about the woman's body as it can reproduce bring the next generation to the world for example 胎儿 fetus 胎儿 is also a piece of flesh and later on this little baby will be good enough to leave the body 脱离 to leave and then the big project, the real hard work, starts. First of all, the family to bring up the kids, give them enough food and drink and keep it warm. Yang yu, to bring up. Yang yu. And later on, jiao yu, to educate. Jiao yu. That's why both words has the same root. Yu. Well, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching so far, and I'll see you in the next episode. 谢谢，再见。